All right, Javi's going to test out this controller, and he's going to play on his lap. I got the cam set up there so you can see how his hands are, see that it doesn't take up a big footprint on your lap, and he's gonna, I'm just going to ask him questions and see how he feels playing it. All right, playing Cammy, of course. I'm playing the characters while playing the controller. But so far, your hands seem... How do you feel with your hand placement? It, it just feels different because it's lower compared to the Vitrix. The Vitrix is kind of high. Uh-huh. But, uh... Uh, my fingers feel fine. Uh, buttons feel very responsive. Uh, like, I almost have to, like, not press it at all in order to get, like, a inputs I want. Yeah, I noticed that. The button input sensitivity is very low. You don't need to, you know, pound it down. It's almost an instant. Right when you press it, you can tap it lightly, too. I love it. Because it seems like you'd be able to get off combos very quick and rapid succession without having to you know kind of like oh i gotta make sure i hit it yeah and again what we were talking about is it's it's a very quiet um uh, fight pad you know it's a very very quiet hitbox yeah you're not gonna bug your neighbors with this That's yeah it's not a loud mechanical clicking your midnight gaming sessions are gonna be totally fine though if you live with people well, but, uh, yeah, uh, As of right now, he's playing a very good jury. I'm just going to keep talking about the controller so I can let him concentrate because we're not doing a good job on showing off this controller if he's just losing the whole time. So keep her in the corner. Keep it up. How do you feel the combos? Can you get the combos off at all? Because yeah. apparently you can't. <laughs> so far, so good. Well, let's... uh. Try to win a match, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, so far from what I've seen and uh, how I felt holding the controller on my lap, it's a great tournament. Tournament hitbox controller. Yeah, this is, this is definitely a tournament ready. It's very small, very thin. Um, you have no problems stashing this in your backpack or even like a, a small laptop case, you know? You wouldn't it's even need very to carry a big solid. It's very well made. The aluminum casing is interchangeable again. You can change it out with different characters. Yeah, and you can you can even print out your own uh, template. Uh, Razor supplies it on their website. So you can totally just make your own if you really... How do you feel... Do you think any of the buttons are ever going to get loose? Do you feel like these buttons can withstand uh, thousands and thousands of inputs? Well, if they're definitely, uh, if they're keyboard switches like the Razer said they are, um, they probably will last longer than like your standard Saimatsu or Sama buttons. Really? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident. And they did say they're going to sell their own, plus like a couple of third-party developers uh, uh, do make these kind of switches, these uh, optical switches. Um, and it, this is hot swappable, so you can take out the button Take out the switch, uh, change out. Uh, if you don't like the quiet, if you prefer like a really clicky uh, response, you can even switch it to uh, those kind of switches as well. So it's you know, whatever preference you want. How do you feel like your hands resting on there? I know you said it's too low. Do it's not. It's not too low, but uh, it just it just takes a little bit to get used to, just because like on a hit on a big tricks, uh, your hands are a little more elevated because it's a bigger controller. But uh, this this feels fine. Do you think people are going to want it up higher? Like put a book or something underneath it? Or do you think it's good on your lap as is? Uh, as is. I have no problems. I'm not feeling like my wrists are uncomfortable in any way. How do you feel it, it, it's going to... How long do you think it's going to take for you to get used to this stick as opposed to the Victrix? Do you think it's a big difference in it? Do you think anybody could pick this up and start using it? I think as long as you're used to like the hitbox lock because... Uh, this is a pretty standard Vulix uh, layout, so as long as you're used to this specific uh, layout on a hitbox, then uh, it should be fine. Uh, the buttons are also uh, their con convex, so uh, you know, uh, just like arcade buttons, so it should feel pretty natural. As well as they have that nice smooth matte finish. It's almost like a uh, soft texture to them. Yeah, yeah. It, it it's not a gloss. It's not a glossy uh, texture as some. Uh, fight sticks and hitboxes have they're almost like they you, your fingers won't slip when you're pressing them which is really nice i do like as well as um that there's uh 
Well, I could, I could see this being a problem. The uh, buttons aren't snug to the aluminum housing, so there is kind of a gap around the buttons. So, I mean, if you're sloppy and you're a pig and you're eating while you're playing, they're going to get dirty. Yeah. But if, if it's anything like keyboards, you can remove the buttons. You know, and um, you can clean it. And you it's, can clean it. It seems like it's very well made to take apart, put it back together. Very simple. Yeah. It would be pretty straightforward. Razer is uh, very good at uh, at least making sure you can clean uh, your keyboards and stuff real easily. So again, all in all, what's your total opinion on this as of right now? Just picking it up, playing it right out of the box, not being, not having it for a, a long amount of time right now. This might be my, my a new main controller, honestly. How do you feel about the price point? Do you think that hits a um, hits it, or do you think three sixty is a bit much for this? Oh, so the reason it's 360 is because, like, I played for the Kami one. It's actually much cheaper to just buy the matte black one. Ah. Uh, so so the character editions are a lot more. Yeah, definitely. So that's one thing we didn't talk about then. The regular editions are... The, right, the regular one costs 300 th These ah, cost 330 before tax. Before tax, 330 Yeah. Uh, I just wanted it just because I, I love Kami, so <laughs> I, I was willing to spend the cash. But uh, this is $100 more cheaper than the Victrix, and the Victrix... And this controller are the only uh, officially licensed PlayStation uh, hitbox controllers. Oh, okay. so these will work with any PlayStation uh, moving forward. So eventually, these will. Uh, if you get a PS6, whenever that comes out, you know it'll work because of the licensing uh, process. I have sticks, like a PS4 stick that still works on PS5, just because Good. it's made uh, officially licensed by Sony. But however, this doesn't work on PC, does it? It does work on PC. It does work on PC. Yeah. Good to know. So again, if you're a PC player, this hitbox is great. I think it might be your new uh, hitbox controller. Me personally, I like it a lot better than Victrix. Victrix is a nice controller, but it's a lot, it's, it's a lot bigger. It's very heavy, big boy. I feel like we need to get a few more of these controllers to do um, some big, uh, good comparisons. But as of right now, I think this one, this one is hands down my the favorite. best. Yeah, I think so too. This was released uh, just a few months ago? Yeah, like about a month ago. Uh, if you put it on their website, you got it a lot earlier than if you put it on, like, on GameStop or Amazon. Nice. Nice. And again, how many character uh, controllers are there so far? So far, there's just, so far, there's just Chun-Li and, uh, and Kami, but they, Razer does have like, like uh, regular, like, you know, uh, they have a lot of different patterns on their website. You can check out. But one thing to note, they're not printed on the, the metal. They're like vinyl wraps, like on a okay. car. Okay, okay. So, yep. so, yeah, it's a vinyl wrap. Um, do you have any concerns of it peeling? I, I like the texture on it. It feels like it was very well made. The graphics are very detailed. If it does ever peel, I'm sure I can just reprint this vinyl if I really, you know, got to that point. But uh, th this feels like, right off the bat, it feels like it's going to last a while. Now, what are the other buttons up top? You have a touchpad. Yeah, it's touchpad. So for resetting in training mode, you've got your your pause, your options button, your share button, your PlayStation button, your L three and your R three, and then right next to it is your PC and P uh PlayStation Switch. So it's a uh, you know PC you switch it to PC, PlayStation you switch it to PlayStation. Very straightforward. Um, and then right here is your tournament tournament lock button, which it'll lock your touchpad and your pause button, so you don't accidentally pause during a, a match in tournament. Oh, see, that's a great. Great option. I don't think the Victrix no, has. does have that. Yeah. Victrix has it. Yeah. So the Victrix does have that. But that is a that is a great option to have. So then you don't have to worry about hitting your pause button when you're playing an actual match. Yeah, because you will get disqualified. You will lose a round. It'll cost you big. Time. It's the fact that it has it is real handy. So to sum this whole controller up, this seems like it's the perfect controller to take to tournaments if you're traveling with it, or if you want just something with a low profile to sit on your lap, and it and it has nice RG, RBG, or RGB, 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 and the fact that like it's available, you can go to like mm -hmm. a Razer store, a bet, it'll probably be on Best Buy soon, and you can pre-order it on Amazon. Amazon sells pre-orders; they'll come out at the end of October. Uh. But the, the fact that it's like Razer, you know, Razer is usually well stocked. If you if you're well aware of like the hitbox controller, uh they're always out of stock because of you know all these fighting games coming out. But because Razer is, you know, a top of the line company, they'll always pretty much have at least one of these versions in stock. 
So, uh, you won't have to worry about ever looking for it at all. I, I think that's already nice in its own front because trying to get a snack box, it's a little easier now, but it definitely sells out real fast though. So that's just something to consider. Yeah. So all in all, I just want to say I really like this controller. I, I really like this controller. Uh, a very, very nice addition to the fight stick community. Fighting pads, all of that. I think everybody's going to love it. I recommend if you want a new hitbox controller, this is probably the top tier controller you could get. Love you, Razor. Yeah. <laughs> so from here in our amazing studio, we'd like to say thank you for joining us. Please let us know how you feel about these new hitbox controllers, or do you prefer a stick? That's a big thing, too. Let us know what you play fighting games oh, with. Is. Or a fight pad. We don't discriminate here when it comes to our controllers. So again, take care, and I hope you stick around and be prepared for more unboxings. Until next time. Later.